The gospel is God's message to sinners. Sin is missing the time, falling short, as described in Romans chapter 3, verse 23. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. The world that we inhabit rejects the idea of sin and regards it as an unfashionable concept. However, scripture affirms that sin is a reality that affects everyone. Two extreme attitudes are possible regarding sin. Firstly, there are those who say that they have no sin. <clears throat> scripture addresses the problem of such denial in 1 John chapter 1, verse 8. If we say that we have no sin, we are deceiving ourselves and the truth is not in us. And a little further on in verse 10, if we say that we have not sinned, then we make him, that is God, a liar, and his word is not in us. Scripture therefore regards denial of the reality of sin as a serious condition, consisting of self-deception and regarding God as a liar. Secondly, there are those at the other extreme who admit that they have sinned, but believe that their sin is so extreme and of such a severe magnitude that they are beyond forgiveness, that there is no way back to God. However, Scripture assures us that through Christ there is full forgiveness and restoration of God's presence. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 19 says, God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses, uh, that is, sins against them. And verse 21, he, that is God, made him, that is Christ, who knew no sin, to be sin on our behalf, that we might become the righteousness of God and this is shown clearly in the account of the crucifixion given in the gospel according to Luke chapter 23 when Christ was unjustly crucified two criminals were crucified alongside him and we will take up the account in verses 39 to 43 and one of the criminals who were hanged there was hurling abuse at him, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. But the other answered, and rebuking him, said, Do you not even fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed just, we are receiving what we deserve for our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong, and he was saying, Jesus, remember me when you come in your kingdom. And he said to him, truly I say to you, today you shall be with me in paradise. This passage shows that one of the two criminals admitted that his offences were so serious and so extreme that he fully deserved his sentence of execution. However, once he admitted this and placed all his faith and trust in Christ, accepting Christ as the sinless saviour who had done nothing wrong, he received forgiveness and the assurance of eternal life in Christ's kingdom. The other criminal, unfortunately, who did not respond to Christ, died without receiving such forgiveness and assurance. Christ had paid the price for his sin, just as for those of the other criminal, but he chose not to receive this. In conclusion, Christ has paid the price for our sins in full, and our part is to accept this and receive the forgiveness that is offered to us through Christ. 